this video, you're going to see how to install and register floor panels. So again, in an earlier video on the Rapid Studio, I just showed how to install one panel on the floor. And this Adam Sumner, trainer based in Los Angeles, does a lot of 3M training, is prepping the floor, just swept it to get the dirt off. And again, this is a nice sealed floor. There's no cracks, very straightforward. And he's wiping it down with isopropyl alcohol, 70%. Very important to just kind of clean grease off the floor. No need to really go with soap and water. Don't want to get it too wet. Because if you get the floor too wet, especially if it's somewhat porous, that moisture will compromise the adhesive. So just that alcohol will evaporate. Once you get this right setup on the floor, you obviously want to use the right film. So again, different manufacturers have different types of film. The big thing is the lamination. You want to make sure it's anti-slip and make sure that it doesn't get scratched very easy. So a lot of these types of films are very thick. This particular one is eight millimeters thick, very straightforward. And the first panel, obviously just register, get in place, set it up with masking tape, and then just place it. So again, just pull, fold the packing paper on, on itself so it's very easy to pull off once the top piece goes down set up a permanent hinge and then work towards the top. And what's nice is, you know, a lot of people when they put on floor graphics, generally choose a very cheap, straightforward calendar film. And calendar film, obviously for this type of surface is ideal, no need to use cast. But again, what's now, right now what Adam's doing is applying a film with adhesive that has a repositionable technology. It just makes it very little easier. So instead of being super, super high tech and really hard to pull off the backing paper, and having the film stick right away. Right now you can kind of comfortably kind of work around and again if you're really worried about scratching the graphics this one is a kind of a textured satin so hard to scratch but you might want to use knee pads obviously take out the shoes in this case it's a narrow panel so watch he's keeping his shoes off the surface so again his knees aren't scratching but the shoes might otherwise if it's a wider panel just take your socks off and come in from the side but now that he's about halfway through because it has repositionable technology he simply just removes the entire backing paper, tries to keep the material straight, and it does stay straight nice and easy. Again, maybe, mainly because it's eight millimeters thick. If it was thinner, it might go off in terms of going straight down the side. But again, because it's nice and thick and it's calendar, just goes on nice and easy and straightforward. He's just using a very straightforward squeegee technique. No need to use a 45 degree technique, just kind of put it on. Once he's done, always go around that 360, make sure all the edges are nice and sealed, but if it's clean and prepped, no problem. Now for registering. Registering floor panels is always a little tricky because of just kind of body position, all that kind of good stuff. So he lays the panel down and no different than what you do on a van earlier on the rapid suit, you can see how to register panels is the triple hinge. So in this case, he's using masking tape, obviously cannot use magnets here because it's a concrete floor. So masking tape extra wide because it has extra wide holding power. So registers one piece, kind of lines it up, use the, uses the overlap as a guide to get the panel set up. Once he has one section kind of lined up, takes the other piece of masking tape and puts it on a lower section of the panel. So right there it's set up at the top and now he's going to take the masking tape again and go on a, a section again. So two pieces of masking tape go on the area where it's registering. Very straightforward and he turns it sideways to get a higher surface area so it sticks nice and good. Double checks the alignment, makes any kind of micro adjustments and then once those two panels are straight on the side, goes down and everything lines up perfectly, comes in with a third piece of masking tape where he's going to start with by removing the masking, the, pre, the backing paper. So again, the double hinge at the top and then that third one down at the bottom just really helps keep the panel straight up in terms of alignment. So then once he pulls the backing paper again, no need to cut the backing paper there, just kind of fold it under itself. It's nice and forward do exactly the same method as the first panel. If you do that, it really keeps even tension. So again, if you cut the backing paper there, it might lay down a little different in effect registration. So he makes sure he creases it exactly like the first one, and that really helps. So he, then he creates the permanent hinge, locks and loads, everything lines up, and then every, now that everything's lined up, he can squeegee the top, nice and straightforward. So again, it's a very straightforward squeegee strokes there. Once he's to the top, pulls the masking tape, and again, staying off the panel as long as he can right there until he starts going. But again, here's the benefit of using the adhesive that has slightly repositionable. It might be a little more on the front end in terms of cost, but look how easily now he can pull off the entire backing paper. And this really helps speed up the process. So you might think this might material might cost a few dollars more in terms of actual material cost. But if you can pull the backing paper off this much in one shot, you can really register the panel right there, pick it up, make any types of adjustments left to right, tack it and it's all about registration. Look, he's not squeegeeing yet. He's really just focusing on registration and making sure everything lines up. So it comes to the top, tax it, comes to the top, tax it, everything lines up and looks good. Now he only squeegees. So again, double check it because if he has to pick it up, he can pick it up. But again, having that adhesive from sticking really aggressively right away really enables, takes the pressure off the install. I've done installed floors 
graphics where the vinyl the vinyl is extremely aggressive and it just really makes it difficult to register. So again, that's a good tip for that. And with any type of floor graphic, highly recommend it, especially if it's a concrete floor that you can cut directly on the surface. If it's not concrete, you're doing still in on wood, you might want to not use this because you're going to cut directly through the top layer and create a butt joint. So the trick for this is, because that edge right there is higher, and this is 8 millimeter of film, the chance of a foot catching that or damaging that over time is really high. So you want to take off that overlap. And to do that safely, so obviously everything registers and doesn't come short, you take a long straight edge, set it up, and put it exactly in the middle of the overlap. And then in this case, you don't want to use your standard knife that you say you use for, let's say, windows or car wraps. You want to use kind of a, a thicker blade that has a heavier gauge because right now, because it's two eight millimeter panels as you have to cut through 16 millimeters of film so again you have to use a kind of a heavier blade take off the top piece and then take off the piece from underneath try to pull as close to 180 degrees as possible so it lays flat and then simply just take a squeegee and then just kind of form the material together and then it, if you do this properly it should fit together like a puzzle piece so then you have the ultimate butt joint and this won't expand and contract over time it lays flat Nice and very and straightforward, and again, this makes it extremely durable for the long term in terms of no feet catching and also no one's going to trip over that. So it lays flat, nice and easy. And a very good tip for these type of installations is the rounding the corners. If you leave the corners squared right there, it's very easy for a foot to catch those. So what you want to do is kind of limit the, the kind of sharpness of that corner around it. it. creates a much kind of safer adhesive on the floor right there because the, that corner is very weak. So by rounding it, and Adam uses a very good tip right there, is using just taking a, a, a roll of masking tape and using that as a guide to kind of cut that shape. And now, look how much more durable that is. So a very good tip. So any type of exposed edges on a floor graphic, you really need to round those corners. Very important. So make sure you explain that to your client beforehand so it doesn't come as a surprise. But in many ways, it looks actually quite good. It kind of frames the whole overall look. And now for the wrap-up. Again, it's all about choosing the right film and the lamination. Don't forget about the lamination. Not all the laminations are made for floors. You want to get something that's slip resistant and also extremely very durable because you're getting a lot of foot traffic there. And again, don't rush the basics. Very important on floor graphics. Again, very straightforward install if you don't rush the basics in terms of setting up the hinges. Again, always make a butt joint and round those corners. And again, floor graphics are excellent for stores and museums, galleries, all that kind of good stuff. And they're very straightforward in terms of removals because the film is nice and thick and they're generally they're on and on for six months to a year. Thanks for watching. Justin Payton.